from this angry grandma who went totally crazy at the airport. I just want to go home! You piece of sh Pick up your feet. No, I'm not going to! Thank you for helping me! That's her stuff. To this other one who thought that jail was not meant for people like her, even after interrupting the policeman. Reporting with me, motherfucker. I didn't do nothing. I just paid in there. I don't. I don't care. I showed you the receipt, bro. Yeah, you see? My son just. I don't have time for this. I don't care. My son just. You make me lose my dad. Listen, this is where we are right now, okay? Are you going to be cooperative? I am being possible? cooperative. How? So here are several instances when angry grandmas act like laws don't exist. Starting with the case of this elderly lady, Stephanie, who was caught in a chaotic encounter where she felt deeply upset and tried to exercise resistance against the law enforcement officers. Ma'am, you're not free to leave. You're intoxicated and you're not free to leave. Don't look touch at me. me. Don't touch me. Don't, I'm gonna don't put touch you me. under arrest. Don't touch me. Have a seat. Bite me and I'll spray you. On March the 26th, 2023, police officers were caught up in a scene at a Wendy's restaurant in Palm City, where an old lady was found lying on the streets unconscious, whereby it was reported earlier that she was trespassing. She seemingly did not really understand where she was and perhaps how she got there. The old Wendy's, 5 in Palm City. Rough night last night? Do you know where you are? The old lady, whose name is Stephanie, seemed intoxicated and refused to comply, acting very entitled, which left the law enforcement officers with no choice but to take action. How about we start off with your name? Do you have an ID with you, ma'am? Ma'am? Do you have any identification with you? Ma'am, you're not free to leave. You're intoxicated and you're not free to leave. Ma'am, please don't make me do this. Where do you live? Look at me. Don't look touch at me. me. Don't touch me. Don't, I'm gonna don't put touch you me. under arrest. Don't touch me. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a second here, please. Now, now that we've explained this, have a seat. Have a Don't seat. touch me. Don't touch have me. Have a seat. Don't touch me. Do you know where you are? Yes. Where are you? Don't touch me. Sit down. Don't touch me. Sit. Don't touch me. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. The law enforcement officers tried to keep their calm so as to make the old lady comply, but she acted like she deserved some special kind of treatment. Little did she know, the officers were on a duty call. Put your hands behind your back. Get your knee off me. Put your hands behind your back. Get your knee off me. Put your hands behind your back. Get your knee off me. Oh my gosh! Stop! Stop! Get off me! Get off me! You bite me and I'll spray you. You have no reason to arrest me. Put your hands behind your back. Get off my knees! Yes, sir, I got you. 
Get off my knees. I didn't uh, get off your knees feet. when you stop. I didn't touch you. Get off my knees. Where's the female? Get off my knees. Where's the female? Get off my knees. Get off your knees. I didn't do anything wrong. There's no reason to arrest me. Where's the female? As the conversation progressed, the old lady continued to resist, making demands on how the officers should conduct their investigation on her. But to her surprise, the officers were not there for a fight. Where's the female? Where's the female? We don't need one. Yes, he's on my crotch. Get him off my crotch now, please. I am not resisting. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some gloves on, I'm gonna get Jeff in a car. Get off my knees. This way. Go on your side. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yep. Hold on a second. Do you recognize that? No. Jordan? Yeah. From that, is, didn't you trespass her from that, or uh, we had a complaint about her at Oleander Mini Park? Yes. No, no. No trespassing. I was never. No, we never didn't trespass you, nothing. but you just I left. Asked you to leave, no, yeah. Right. No, you left on your own. No. Never ever written anything down. Never nothing. I didn't say up I didn't see anybody written anything down. He came up and started and you know by law that the um, government has done this to my body. Calm, clam. So you can go ahead and arrest me, and um, I'm not. I'm not above the law. I'm a, under the law. This is lawless, lawless for my claw. Yes. Hold still. You have anything in your pockets? No. Nope. Do you have anything on your person at all? No. Nope. Nothing in your undergarments or anything like that. I don't own any undergarments. Okay. And nothing under your clothing. Under your shirt? Just laying on the ground. Okay. Just sit tight. What's your name, ma'am? Um, Stephanie. What is it? Can I talk to someone else? Can I talk I'm to you? No, I don't want to talk to him. What's your name, Stephanie? He can me. I will not speak to him. All right, Stephanie. I'll speak to you. Okay. After being a nuisance and failing to comply, the old lady suddenly decided to cooperate. So ironic compared to her previous behavior. What's your middle initial? A. A? Yes. And your last name? Silvestri. What are you doing back here at Wendy's? I fell asleep. I was going okay. something away and I fell asleep. How do you spell Stephanie? S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E. What did you say your middle initial was? A, A, as in apple. And how do you spell Sylvester? S-I-L, it's Sylvestri. S-I-L-B is Sylvester. Okay, what's your birthday? 128.73. So sarcastically, the old lady pretended not to understand why the officers were keeping her, questioned everything as if the current situation was different from how everything had started. Her confusion didn't add up in any way. Since you're in handcuffs right now and you're not free to leave, I'm going to read you this, okay? You have the right to remain... Why are you, why are you reading me? Like I just said, because you're in handcuffs and you're not free to leave. Why am I not free to leave? Because you're detained. Why? The detained? events that led up to this. No, no. Why am I detained? What did I do wrong? I'm not sure if you're trespassing or resisting arrest, but you're, being t you're detained. No, so I didn't do either one. Do you one. want me to read your rights? No. Nope, okay. I didn't do either one. Okay. Well, I'm going to read your rights anyway. Do you understand your rights? No. I've been hit in the head. Where did you get hit in the head? In the park two days ago. I got hit in the head and I got threatened last night again that they would punch me in the head. So I do the, not have who threatened the capacity you? to be... Uh, understanding as to what you just read me at okay. all. Okay. Who threatened you? I don't know who they were. Which park were you at? Um, the one up by the marina. By Sailor's Return? Yes. Like uh, Shepherd's Park? I don't know what it's called. It's the one with the little playground in the sand, and it's got uh, the river walk on it. I don't know. Where all I, the I sailboats stop? 
I have something wrong with my head. Okay. So I don't have the capacity to understand. Do you need an ambulance? No, thank you. She said no, thank you. The old lady gathered courage and boldly asked the officer the next step. Her approach to the situation at this point indicated some kind of surrender. As the officers posed some questions to the old lady, her response gave a hint of her mental state. I didn't do anything wrong. He came up with me, and now you're saying I'm detained. So what do we do from here? Well, when I got here, they were detaining you in handcuffs. Okay? So what are we doing from here? That's all I'm asking. Yes, I don't understand. Well, the investigating officer is making a determination. Stephanie, have you ever diagnosed with any mental illnesses? Have you ever been diagnosed with any mental illness? Not that I know of. Excuse me, ma'am? Not that I know of. I don't know. Okay. She said she got hit in the head a couple days ago. She doesn't really remember much. Well, Stephanie, do you know what city you're in right now? Do you know what city you're in right now? Yes. What city are you in? Stewart. Who's the president of the United States? Biden. I met him. You met Biden? When did you meet Biden? When he was a senator. Oh. Well, what year is it? 2023. Is there a particular reason why you didn't? Listen to the sergeant when he asks you to stop. I don't understand I what happened. I don't understand why he was so aggressive. I wasn't doing anything to him. I understand that, but he was initially he, he wasn't he wasn't cooperative with me. He was too aggressive and too verbally right. He got too into my space for me to handle that. Okay. So I tried to move away from him. The officers, driven by their commitment to accuracy, proceeded to question the old lady further, where they aimed at eliminating any doubt and verifying the information they had on her as they led her to the police car. Where did you get hit on your head? What part of your head did they hit? My left temple and my left ear. Do you mind if I look? Did you have any bleeding when this happened? No. Did you lose consciousness? No. Did you see what the person looked like? A homeless man with a cart. A homeless man with a cart. Was he white, black, Hispanic? White. What kind of build? I don't know. Okay. Just had dark, like light gray hair. Light gray hair with a cart. The target cart. Target. Mm -hmm. Rock up on that knee, and then we're gonna stand up, right? Because I have trouble with my balance. Okay, we got you. We won't let you fall. All right. We'll walk over this way. Walk over to uh, Officer Lee here. Try to sit still for a second. Hey, why don't you let us do it? We got gloves on. Yeah, one shot one. Just putting a band-aid on you. I don't want the band-aid. We're gonna need one to go to jail. Yeah, I'll go ahead and have a seat in there. The old lady kept on blaming the government for her loss of balance, but this wasn't going to change the officer's decision. I've been hit by the government so hard with my balance and they, my calm plan, they ruined it. I cannot get up in there without some assistance. Okay, all right. I have go. no use of my I'm, right, I'm right leg. Here. They made me I'm, a rocket. I'm right here. Who's going up, the okay. air balloon? Yes, ma'am. 
Put your left leg up on that step. I can't. I you cannot. can't lift your left leg? No. Okay. And I just cannot. turn and sit right here. I cannot. Double. I cannot. I do not have the use of my body. You were just you standing pretty far. That's crazy. You do not understand. I do not have the use of my body. Okay. Well, let's see if whoever else has control of your body can get it in there. Good. There you go. Sit back so this doesn't hit you. There you go. Here, put your head back. At the end, the old lady is charged with trespassing and resisting arrest. Next is the case of this crazy woman who caused complete mayhem at the airport. Hey. Shame on all of you! Terry, calm down. I don't give a Get me somebody that can help me! Ma'am, I'm here to help you. No, you're not helping I'm me! I'm here to help you. No, you're not helping me! Hey. Shame on all of you! Terry, calm down. I don't give a sh On the 25th of May 2021, police officers responded to a public disturbance that was ongoing at the airport, which had been reported by one of the air hostesses, involving a passenger by the name of Terry, who seemed intoxicated and totally out of everyone's control. I did nothing! Ma'am, what happened? This guy choked hold of me! Ma'am. What the f is wrong with him? Calm down. Keep it down. No, you need to talk to him. He choked hold of me. They Ma'am. Ma'am, calm down. Listen, I'm fine. I need to get to my great aunt's memorial service. I've been de detained and held up all day. You can go through my bags. I have nothing. My God, what is wrong with America? Calm down. Calm down. No, so, that guy needs to be arrested. Come on, let's go over here. You saw. Ma'am, keep. He choke holding me! Ma'am, what's your name? I'm Officer Off. He threw me to the ground! What's your name? My name is Terry Ann Blues. Look, look him over here and we'll talk, okay? I want the manager of the airport here! Who saw me at Joking Joking? Who saw him choke me to the ground? Who saw me? I saw you running the door here. when you weren't supposed he to. He choked me to the ground! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am. I'm a woman! Over here. In a dress! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am, let's go over here, okay? Boo-hoo! You f off! I want the manager of the airport here! Ma'am. No! Ma'am. No! Calm down. I want the manager here! Okay, we'll get the manager. What is your name? My name is Terry Ann Blues! I'm not gonna be treated like this! Calm down. He yep. chuckled me to the ground! Ma'am. I Ma want an officer here! Ma'am, I am Officer Hall. I have what family happened? waiting for my funeral! I've been through hell trying to get through this goddamn airport service! I want some help! And I want it now! Ma'am. Ma no. Stay over here. That guy threw me to the ground! Who's Raise your hand! Ma'am, calm down. Man, what is your name? I told you three times. I didn't hear you. Terry and Ma'am. Blues! Okay. After realizing she had messed up, Terry goes around seeking sympathy from her fellow passengers. Oh, who's gonna stand up for me? Somebody him choke me hold to the ground! Somebody stand up for me! Ma'am. Ma'am. God damn it! Somebody stand up for me! He choke holding me to the ground! Hey ma'am, can we go over here? No! No, I'm trying to get to my memorial, my great aunt's memorial service! Hey, look, ma'am. No! Ma'am. 
This is unexcusable. Okay. I've been in hospitality for 40 years. Ma'am. I've never been treated like that. Ma'am. No, ma'am. I want the manager of the airport here. No! Ma'am. You cannot treat a passenger like that. That was another passenger that choked holding me to the ground. Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? You calm cannot down. treat someone like this. Ma'am, calm down. I'm going to Shreveport, Louisiana to my great aunt's funeral. Ma'am. Now, God damn it. Get me somebody that can help me. Ma'am, I'm here to help you. No, you're not helping I'm me. I'm here to help you. No, you're not helping me. Ma'am, I can help you if you calm down a little bit, okay? Can you that calm guy choked holding me. Where is my luggage? Ma'am. Everybody took my stuff! Ma'am, calm down. Well, I can help you if you calm he down. He threw me to the okay. ground! I understand that, so... No, there's cameras! What are you talking about? Oh my god! Take some deep breaths, okay? Take some no. deep breaths. I want a manager here. I want the manager of the airport here. Ma'am, calm down. This is not happening. That guy had no right to throw okay. me to the ground. He chokeholded me. Despite the officer's patience and attempts to calm the situation, her confrontational behavior persisted. She kept on throwing blame on anyone she could and was not ready to cooperate. Funny enough, Terry pleaded to be helped. Okay. Try to get my ass funeral, god damn it! I've had nothing but problems! Okay. Oh, uh, God. So what happened? He threw me to the ground because I tried to enter the door because this woman said I had Stay over here. that woman causing problems. Ma'am, did you try to go into the door? I don't know. Dude, I'm just trying to get to my aunt's memorial, please. Oh, God. I had a couple of cocktails. Yeah, I put her yeah, I'm about to. This woman Man, had no right. reason. No, you get over here. Hey. Ma'am, come over here. No, no, I'm not. Here. I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. What's your name? My name is Terry. Terry, calm down and breathe. No. Let's go have a seat. You no. Can you Stop hold it. it. This guy chokeholded me. Look at the cameras. Okay. He threw me to the ground and chokeholded me. Okay. Another passenger. Uh -huh. Do you know what he because looks like? Because that woman at the reservation just sent him on me. Do you know what the passenger looks like? Yes, I do. Do you have, where's your stuff at? He said, they took it. I don't know where my, I don't know where my stuff is. Oh yeah. my God, I'm just Come trying on. to get to my green ass Come memorial on. service. Yeah. God help me, God help me. Here, you got it. I didn't do anything wrong, I promise you. We're not saying you are, we just We're need you to calm down so we can talk to you, okay? That's all. Let's go have a seat, come on. No, this guy... I'm here now, I'm going to My luggage is gone. Come on. Oh my God. You'll get your luggage, don't Let's worry, okay? Let's sit down so you can catch your breath, Terry, okay? Come oh, on. I'll go get I asked breath. everyone in the terminal to stand up for me. Nobody would help me. Please help me. I'm here to help you, okay? You want to come have a seat so I can help you out? Please help me. I'm here to help you, okay? Let's get you sit down so you can catch your breath. You want some water? You want to go to the water fountain with me? You want to walk to the water fountain with okay. me? Okay. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just have you sit down. No, I'm not no. going to the way. I'm no. not. No. No, no. Hey, move that. Way. Come on, Tim. Let's, let's walk with me, okay? Here. They... I'm going to take you to get some water. Let's just come off with you, okay? You want to go get some water? Okay? That's the water fan over here, okay? Do you want to get some water? Here. Even though Terry was in trouble, she continued to act like a brat. It was so ironic that Terry threw insults at the other passengers, yet simultaneously pleaded for help from them. Yeah, everybody, thank you for sticking up for me. Okay. Everybody that saw that passenger choke holding he and threw me choke holding he and threw me to the ground. Thank you for helping me. That's her stuff. Some America! Turn around and get some water, Terry. Take your breath here. Give me they all They all Okay, Terry. He's still there in the door! The guy that choke holding me don't care about my shit. I don't care. I just want to go home!
chair. I didn't deserve this. I know. I didn't deserve this. I, I really didn't. I know. <laughs> Calm down. Chris. You want to lock me up? Go ahead. I didn't do anything wrong, so go ahead. Breathe, Terry. Relax, okay? You're fine. My flight's leaving. I need to get to my great aunt's funeral, okay? okay. okay. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm coming from to Oregon. Okay. Across the nation, and I get the Okay. I get chokeholded do you have by a, another passenger. Do you have a purse? I can't believe this! Terry, do you have a purse? Terry. Do you have it a got taken from me. All my is gone! It's over here, man. It's on there. Breathe, Terry. I, I've had enough. I, okay. I, I didn't deserve this. Okay. Yeah, you're okay. Keep breathing. Keep it's breathing. Not, it's not fair. I, Keep breathing, Terry. That girl at the reservation desk, she did it. She okay. sent him on me. I had, okay. I didn't do anything wrong. I checked in. I asked for an early check-in. Okay. Oh my God, I'm never flying again. I can't stand America. I'm moving to Spain. Did you have anything to drink today, Terry? Yes, I did. Is that against the law? No, it's not. How much did you have a drink today? I had a couple of margaritas. Couple of margaritas. You can go talk to the bartender. Okay. I had a very fine time with those people until okay. I got here. Upon her realization that the officers were not backing off at any point, Terry attempted to act sympathetic and down to earth in order to seek some help. Yes, you can talk to. Okay. Okay. Keep breathing. Richie. You're fine. Do you, take any, do you take any medication? No, come on! I'm not a psycho! I'm trying to make sure you don't have any health, <laughs> health conditions, Terry. Terry, I'm trying to make sure you don't have any health conditions. You're not diabetic, anything like that? No, no. Okay. they didn't do this to me for that reason. I don't know why they did. Okay, just breathe. You're fine. Just breathe. Are you traveling by yourself? Yes, I didn't deserve this. I really didn't. You already ran her and got her. Oh my god! Yes. My Aunt Dolores! Terry, keep breathing. Relax. You're fine. You're gonna get on the next available flight. We're gonna see if we can get you on another flight, okay? No, I need to be on the Shreveport flight. This, my cousin's meeting me to take me out to dinner. Okay, you gotta be It's fine. a very important man. Okay. My aunt was a very important woman. <laughs> god damn it. Please get me on this flight! After she realized that her trick wouldn't work out for her, Terry regained her entitlement and started barking more fiercely than before. Driver's license in here. Driver's license in there, Terry? <laughs> yes! What are you going to run the report on me? Yeah, it's Can in I, there. Can I get it? Go ahead! Okay. Terry, keep breathing. You're fine, okay? Keep breathing. What do you want to see? I have a report in Washington State. No, I just need your... Where is it at in your... Okay, we're just gonna, I'm gonna get more than I got it. You said, yeah, I'm gonna This really makes me sick! Hey, relax. No, I, this is not right! You got her. You let another passenger choke hold me! No, I didn't. Terry, Terry, calm down. We're cool, remember? Remember me? No, no, no. They're not doing this What is, what is that? I gotta get to my You try to rush in. Terry's energy did not go down. Thank God for the kind police that had her in control. The kind officer tolerated all her nonsense and kept calm. I'm not playing games here. I need to get a Get to my ass, you Drink some more water, Terry. Keep breathing. Drink some more water. Push it. Here. No, why aren't you talking to that guy that choke holding me? The officers are there. He's a passenger! He had no right. He's not a police officer. He was a passenger with his wife that chokeholded me right there. Okay. Everybody. Okay. Just relax. Why is nobody investigating it? He's investigating. He's investigating. I'm Pretty making good. a federal report on this airport. Okay. Believe me. Okay, Terry. Get some water. Push it. There you go. Here. I've never had there such bad customer service. Okay. Get some water. Get it while I'm pushing it. Okay. Did he get those guys' information? All those stuff. You call for a You can point. call that. Go talk to him. Richie. Here. Andy's at that pizza place. Oh, you went to the pizza place? Yeah, okay. he's told. You can tell him. Did you pay with credit card or did you pay with cash? Do you remember? I paid with my debit card. Do you have a receipt? Yeah, I do. 
You mind if he gets it? No, you're not touching my stuff. Okay, okay. Let him get it. You go talk to Richie. He was the best. Was a nice man. I had the most wonderful time there. I had two drinks. Is that against the law? No. I'm it's 62 not years old. I didn't expect to get throat here, choked cold, cold to the ground. Here. There we go. Oh. Get the out of here. I'm so sick of this place. Here, you put it back in your purse or you got it? You go talk to him. You tell him how up I was. Here. I wasn't at all. Here. Until that guy choke holding me. Here. No, you haven't even gotten him off the plane to talk to him. Here. No! Relax, Relax. You need to investigate. The officer tolerated Terry's misconduct for the longest and now could not take it anymore. Since it was now apparent that she was a woman who did not know that actions had consequences, the cops decided to show her that she was not above the law. No, I don't need to explain why that guy choke holding me when he's a passenger. And nobody here stood Terry. up for me. Nobody Terry. took a report, nothing. Terry, it's down. all on camera. Terry. You Relax. bet I'm going to get it. Okay. I'll, re Relax. I'll request yeah, it. Yeah. I'll request yeah. every surveillance camera in here. this goddamn airport. I just wanted to get her drink information out of it. Okay. And why nobody stood up for me. Why nobody stood Everybody Terry. Nobody would stand up and said this girl was chokeholded by a passenger. Terry. Shame on all of you. Terry, calm down. I don't give a sh Terry, calm down. Calm down. Terry. That's why America is going to the dogs. Because nobody will stand up for anyone. Terry. Calm down. You piece of Terry. Put your other arm behind your back. Arm, Terry. I'm not. No. Oh, I'm being arrested for being chokehold. Please, somebody film this. Please, someone film this. She's being Don't recorded, ma'am. Please, worry. someone film this. Please. You want to lock it? Yeah. God it. damn it. Please, someone. It's being recorded, ma'am, by both of us, all right? I didn't do anything. I have to get on this plane. Why am I being held? Why? That guy jumped holding me. You're holding me for my fight. Someone please record this. Please. Oh, God damn it. Let's have you sit down, Let's Terry. Terry. You have these cups on very tight. <laughs> Let's have you sit down, Let's have Terry. Terry. You have these cups on very tight. <laughs> I'm not being transported. Sit down. Take the off of me. I'm not taking them off. Get it, though. I need my stuff. We're gonna grab it, Terry. We're gonna grab it. Wait, wait, wait. This cutting my ass. cutting my wrist. Come on. You said you'd help me. I did. We adjust the cuffs then. Are you gonna, Are you gonna relax for me to do it? I couldn't put them on correctly because you kept moving. I will calm down. You fix them. Okay. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Even though Terry was already deep in trouble, her traumatics were intensifying, and the officers were becoming fed up with her. Oh, please, somebody help me, please. Terry, take a step up and scoot You're back. You're not helping me. Take a step up and scoot back. No, I'm not going to. You okay. said you would help me. I'm trying to help you. No, you're not. I'm trying to help you. You're two-faced. Two-faced. There we go. Sit back. Stop, you're hurting my... Terry. Goddamn rats! You have to sit back, Terry. Fix them! Terry, sit back. No, I'm not going to till you fix them. Right. You're cutting into my wrist. Terry. No, you fix the handcuffs. Terry, we're about to roll. No! Fix them. Every time I try to fix them, I'm not going to move. You try one more time. Just sit back. God damn you. Hey, Alfman. You said you would help me. When you leave, get her stuff, please. There we go. Pick up your feet, man. No, I'm not going to. Pick up your feet. No, I'm not going to. Leave me alone. Terry, relax. Stop it. There you go. Does it work? What? There you go. Terry, you, you want to get her stuff or no? 
I'll watch. Wait, you told me you sit would help me. Hey, sit no. Down. Sit down, okay? They're cutting into my wrist. God damn you. Ma'am. Ow! Stop! Oh my god. Three. I hate America. Leave me alone! No! Leave me alone! Ow! My arms, please! My wrists, my God, stop! 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 Hey, if you calm down, it won't hurt anymore. Put my legs down! Put my legs down! Put my legs down! Keep kicking me. Oh, hey! Oh, my God! Let go! It hurts! Let go! Oh, you Let go of me! Please let go. Terry's crazy energy was of another level. All that while, she kept her mouth running, and from the look of things, Terry did not have plans to cooperate with the police officers whatsoever. Oh, you liar. Let Damn. go of me! Calm down. Take it easy. Take no, deep breath. just go. God damn it, put my legs down! Terry, if we put them down, you're gonna drag them. Are you gonna I'm hold them up? Put you gonna hold them up? down! Are you gonna hold them up? Yes! Okay, right. can you hold them up? Thank you. Let go of my arms. Oh, I hate America. I hate this country. Please help me. Please help me, please. Okay. Please help me, sir. This woman at reservation said that I was not. I was checked in two hours early. For God's sake, for what? Oh my God, this is so wrong. Please help me, please. Help me. Please, please. I want to call my lawyer. I have a lawyer. I have a lawyer. God damn it, help me. No. I've never been in jail. No. Somebody please film this. Please film this. Please. Somebody film this! Terry! God yes. damn it, leave me alone! Do you have anything? I have to search you, Terry, just to make sure you. Terry! Get away from me! Uh, you know what they, they, I'll put my mask back on. Put you. my mask back on. She told me she would help me. She's a two face. God damn it! I just got you kicking my, kicking my partner on camera, so. Yeah. I don't care! Okay. I've never been in jail in my life! You I'm trying to get to my ass funeral. I'm trying to get to my ass funeral. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't miss this flight! I can't miss this flight! Terry's level of disturbance and interaction with law enforcement became more heated. Even though the cops were trying hard to put up with her attitude, she kept pushing her boundaries. Don't touch me! Get the fuck out of here. I want to know where I'm going. You're going to the jail. That's where you're going. Let's For go. what? I didn't do anything! I want to know where I'm going. You're going to the jail. That's where you're going. For what? I didn't do anything! You're under arrest for public intoxication. Hey, I'm point. not intoxicated! Hey, I told you to talk to the bartender! Please help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Somebody! Please help me! Let go of these cops! Fuck with that. You need to step Damn, up. You need to step up. I will step up! Just let go of the cops! Okay. I, I can't well, do you anything. Stand you stand up on Just your own. Just let go of the cops. Stand up on your own. You stand up on your stand own. up and step in. Okay, take, take what your left up. foot and put take it up there, okay? Let go, go of the cops. We're not taking the cuffs off. I'm not doing anything unless you let go Damn, of these. You, you 
I can't do I can't do anything! No! Let go of the cops! You break my arm! No, I'm not! Let go of the cops! I'll sit in here normally, please! I'm a mother! Don't do this to me! God damn you! Ma'am! You have some civil rights, god damn you! Ma'am, step up! No! Take a step up! You take a both of your goddamn bed! Take a step up, ma'am. No! Ma'am, take a step I've up. I've been in the New York goddamn police department. Take you up, take an oath of your bed. Take a step up. Step up. Somebody take these cops off of me! They're not coming off, ma'am. And you're gonna get in this car. You f take them off! Take, take them off. off! You didn't even talk to the bartender! Ma'am, take a step up. I can no, I'm not! not. I don't care! I didn't do anything wrong! I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. You, you call the goddamn city. No, you're breaking my arms. Man, you don't want to say no. this, then not, not me. Ow! Take a step up. Ow! No! You stop it! Stop! Ma'am, step stop. up! Stop! No! Step in the vehicle. Terry turned and wild after she realized that she was going to jail. She attempted to physically fight the patient officer and also hurled insults and blame at the officers and fellow passengers. However, now she had to face the consequences. Let me alone! Terry! Let me alone! They're breaking my arms! God damn you! Help me! You Take these cops off of me! I'll go quietly! You take these goddamn cops off of me! not taking the cops? No! They're cutting my arms! God damn you! You told me yeah, you would help me! You I'm a woman! You're not taking me like this! He's not gonna do anything. He can't do anything. Let's do it, man. Hey, no! Please! Leg restraints, just go ahead and put up in here. You, you told me you would help me! I'm trying to help you. No, you're not! Would you like me to adjust the cuff? Yes! They're cutting my arms! Because you wouldn't you wouldn't. Oh my God. Alright, calm down, hold on. Please We're gonna try to adjust. Her. We're gonna try to adjust. Her. Oh my god! Please, somebody stop me! Please just take the cuffs off! Are you gonna relax? Oh my god, you Oh my god! Oh you Give me your arm. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Give me your arm. Come on. Please! Okay. Uh, uh, I did listen uh, to you, you two faced. Somebody needs to help me! Someone from the airport! These cops are not doing the right job, please! There we go. Uh, How's that? Customers. Better? You Is that better? No, it's not. You want to get in the car now? I'm not getting in your car. The quicker yeah. you get in the car, the quicker I'm you'll be out. I'm not getting in the car! Man, he did it and touch. Is this in the rest? I didn't and do anything. You set it up. No, I didn't do anything wrong. You do not want to step up in the vehicle. No, I'm not. Yes, it is. Come on. No, I'm not. Man, you finna get this deal. Come on. You better help me. I am. I'm gonna I didn't hurt her. I didn't hurt anyone. Please help me. Please build this. They're arresting me illegally. Please, somebody. God damn it, please. Terry exited the police vehicle in a confrontational manner, ignoring the efforts of yet another compassionate police officer who tried to assist her. At that point, the situation had escalated beyond repair, and despite attempts to help her, Terry was ultimately placed in jail, awaiting her trial. Okay. Fine! I want my lawyer. Alright. No, 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 no,
very well. All right, this is great. I'm writing the President of the United States about this. Perfect. Go down yeah, down perfect. Go down on your knees. Give me a break! Let go of me so I can sit down! Go down. Okay, get off of me, you fat pig. I got it. I got it. Your weight's too heavy. Get off of me. I'm not on you. I'm next to you. This one's coming up. This one's coming up here. Whatever. You suck. All of you suck. You go to hell. You ask God about this tonight. You especially. Ask God about what you did tonight. Eventually, Terry was left with an option of cooperating with the police first to get help, as she was charged with resisting arrest. Suppose you thought Stephanie and Terry were insane. In that case, you definitely haven't met the mother who got into trouble as she tried to defend her son, who was in the wrong. My son just... I don't have time for this! I don't care. Stop! Give me your hands! Stop! Give Stop! Me your hand. Stop! Get up! I'm looking Get up! Now! You know what, mother... Who are you? My okay. son was getting arrested. He was getting arrested, okay? He needed to just step back and let that take his... On the 6th of January, 2024, law enforcement officers were dispatched to New Mexico at Walmart in reference to shoplifting in progress. Surprisingly, it involved a mother and a son. Upon arrival of the law enforcement officers, they encountered a son who had tried to escape through the car park with stolen goods and an entitled mother who at first appeared so fierce and untouched but her behavior pushed the officers into showing their prowess. I brought boy with you, motherfucker. I didn't do nothing. I just paid in there. I don't. I don't care. I showed you the receipt, bro. Ah, you My son just. I don't have time for this. I don't care. I right know now. you don't care. Let's go. Yeah. Get over here. Get off. Do nothing. Whatever you were resisting, just do it. I didn't do anything. I just paid for my. Get over here. I didn't do anything. Okay. Stop, stop, give me stop. your hands. Stop, stop. 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 My son just died. Of course, I don't want to take you. My other would go. What the hell, my son? The mother continued to yell at them as she hurled insults. It was so unfortunate for her, she got on the nerves of one of them. Unbeknownst to her, her actions proved grounds for her arrest and placed her at their mercy. I got a pin. My glasses. Where are your glasses? I don't know. You... Get up. I'm looking Get for... up. Now. You know what? Who are you? I'm Officer Rotman. Get going. Officer Rotman, you better kiss your goodbye. Uh, Y'all motherfuckers are going to have a lawsuit on your hands. You better let go of me right now! You did nothing wrong! Let me call somebody! No. I did nothing wrong, you see Why are you doing this to me? You're in on it with him, huh? You know, Steve? Junior? Yeah. Let's you go. That, don't you? You like to manhandle You also take them out there and that bar. Mother You better let me go right now. I'm my Please. My son is. Where's my son? I did nothing wrong if you let me show you the receipt. I didn't do it. What the f ever you think I did? Either way, you ran from us. I didn't. Yeah, when you said you were gonna arrest me when I didn't do anything. I did you nothing resisted? Wrong. You resisted? You know what? I this did. is a crooked. Let's go. Son. 
You don't have to be such a Please stop. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna check you for weapons. You're under arrest. For what? All I did was face the vehicle. I can't deal with this. Spread your feet, spread your feet, spread your feet. Why are you doing this to me? I did nothing wrong. Why don't you go get I gotta do my sister. It was a stupid. Now you're doing this to me. Get in the vehicle. Do anything. As the officers conducted their search, they discovered items hidden in the countless pockets of the son's pants. To their amazement, he never appeared bothered by the situation. On the other hand, as his mother was being detained in the police car, she displayed a mix of emotions. At times, she appeared desperate, as if in genuine need of help, and at other times, she reacted fiercely. However, the officers remained resolute and did not back down. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Hello. I'm Officer Fontanez, Roswell Police Department, okay? Here's, here's the deal. So you're going to be placed under arrest today for resisting, I'm evading, sorry. and obstructing an officer, okay? What did I do? I didn't ma resist. You, I even came back to him. Resisting, evading, I, and obstructing. You were uh, obstructing. Sir, I came back. I got my buddy and I ran over there to where okay. my son was getting arrested at. He was getting arrested, okay? You need to just step back and let that take its course. Okay? I had to see but, my other son was just... Okay. No one did anything about it. Okay, Please don't do yeah, that. I'm, I'm trying to explain to you why you're being arrested, okay? Do you want to hear the explanation? The reasoning behind it or no? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, all right. So, so you were advised multiple times. To he didn't ever tell me anything. Okay. He grabbed every, every, a hold of the buggy. Every, everything so everything you're you not remember, listening okay? to me. Please. All right. He grabbed a hold of the buggy and started pulling me forward. So I... Whenever he got jerked that way, I pushed the buggy out okay. to the parking lot, okay. way out there where okay. they were. I wasn't I trying up, to. Then I showed up. I okay. Was... I grabbed you by the wrist. Yes, so and then y'all threw me to the up. ground for no reason. Okay, you pulled away from me. Yeah, I wasn't doing anything wrong. I didn't steal anything. I put my card in there. I put my money in there. I don't know why you're doing this to me. Okay. My so... son just. And I can't okay, this, deal okay, with this. Please, okay, please don't do this. Right now, okay? Please, this I gotta get. Oh, to please don't do this to so me. So who's who's it? Do you have any kids affected by this arrest? Yes, oh. my son's ashes. Okay, do, do you have anyone? No one alive. loves me. No, but my old my okay. friend is waiting for me to come give him his for his okay, is blood. This, is he an adult? He's an adult with Parkinson's okay. and clots and. I have to give him a on a daily. Please, I didn't do okay. anything right. wrong. What the hell? Please, I'm sorry. I didn't pull it I'm going to shut the door now, okay? At that moment, she had no choice but to listen attentively to the officer, who showed kindness towards her. It was not up for debate. Rather, she had to surrender and pay close attention to what the officer had to say. So, here's what we got. You're going to, uh, best option we have for your stuff that you did. Hang on. Stop. I don't want... I'm not gonna like, hear this petty stuff right now. Petty yeah. stuff, my son. I'm not gonna hear this right now. My but son. Going to. I am gonna go ahead and ask if you want to leave your stuff here, and when you get out, you can go ahead and come back here with your receipt, and you, you can get the stuff that you paid for. Is that all right? Yes. All right. As events unfolded, the mother lost her fighting spirit and was sobbing all the way. Despite her distress, she cooperatively complied with all the officers' requests without any resistance. Step out real quick. <laughs> and you go and turn around facing my people. Okay. <laughs> I beat my blood. <laughs> Let me uh, go ahead and kind of lean forward just a little bit so I have enough room to fix them. There you go. If I'm able to fit a finger in there. Okay, yeah, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Hold on. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just, I have to, I have to move you a little bit. Okay. I can't just. <laughs> Alright. So hold on. Hold on. Place your hands on your back. 
What's up? This other one, this one. I promise I'm not gonna do that. I know. I'm able. Am I'm able to fit a finger in there? You'll be. They'll take. We'll take them off when we get to the PD. <laughs> hang on, stay. Hang on. I still have to double lock them. I can't. I don't want you to have to tighten them too much. All right, go ahead and step in. <laughs> The son was being questioned by one of the compassionate officers in a waiting room. However, during the process, it became evident that his actions were influenced by a controlled substance, a reality he couldn't get himself out of. On the other side, the mother, still sobbing and visibly distressed, was asked to cooperate during the questioning. Having surrendered and come to the realization that cooperation was her best course of action, she contrasted sharply with the woman we initially encountered at the start of this case. Listen, this is where we are right now, okay? Are you going to be cooperative? I am being fun? cooperative. Okay. Help, so, like, I'm, 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 I'm asking. Please. That way I can place the handcuffs in the front, okay? Is that cool? Fine. All right. Where? Oh, my God. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. I can do without it, please. I'm going to take these ones off and I'm going to put on some different ones, okay? Eventually, the mother and the son were taken into custody, where the mother was charged with resisting arrest, while the son was charged with theft, possession of controlled substances, and resisting arrest. Up next is the case of Aurora, who cheated on her boyfriend because she didn't think he was man enough. Because I pay for everything here. I pay for everything here. He's not even a f***ing man to be even paying for sh here. On November the 3rd, 2023, deputies responded to a dispute where a man claimed to have been bitten by his girlfriend. The events that unfolded thereafter were absolutely unbelievable. What happened? Where'd she go? She's inside. She did that. Bit me. Jesus. Scratched you? Scratched me, bit me, hit me in my f***ing face. You an ambulance, bro? Yeah. Where does it hurt? Arms, legs? Everywhere. Six nine central. She does stuff all the time. Who is she to you? My ex girlfriend now. Ex girlfriend. Well, I've been saying now I keep coming back to the same. Sh Has this ever happened before? Yeah, I just barely got a case dismissed for this shit. Same thing. She was beating on you. Yeah. All right, bro. Think. Change. What's her name? Aurora Fernandez. Sheriff's office. Well, we have medics on the way. What's going on? Okay, so this just happened when you called us? You know, been, been, I've been trying to calm her down. She started drinking right away. Okay. What'd she do first? Did she scratch you first? Did she bite you? What happened? Yeah, was, well, she, first it starts off by throwing s***. And then, then she rushes me, tried to tackle me. Because I was just laying on the bed, just trying to stay calm, you know? Try to get her to calm down. And then that's when she comes out of nowhere and just jumps on me. And she's scratching me on my arms. And then I get on top and I just hold her down the best I can. And then I get tired. I try to, like, jump off of her and try to leave. Go to the other room and she, like, breaks and sh Uh, dispatch mentioned something about a rock. Did she threaten you with a rock? Yeah, she, she tried to break the window with a rock. And then she got one of my weights, probably about 30 pounds in finally bashed the window in. This is your car? No, this is their dad's. You were in the driver's seat and she threw it through the window? Yeah. Is it still in here? Jesus, man. Okay, so she bit you, scratched you, threw a rock at you. 
even try to grab my junk. You only try to rip that off. The woman, who was later identified as Aurora, initially refused to open the door when the deputies tried to speak with her. But that was not even the craziest part of the story. Hey, just come out here and talk to us. I can come in? All right, just sit right here. Yeah, I have contact with that 41 over here. What's going on? He's a fing We have Ian Messer. We're gonna, they're gonna come check out your hand. What happened to your hand? I don't know. He fing hurt me. He fing punched me in the eye. You have EMS. Come check her out as well. It's clear for them. Do you have any light in here that I can turn on? It's right here, the switch? <laughs> Alright. So what happened to your hand? He fing hit me. I was trying to defend myself. He fucking punched me in the eye. Has your hand and your eye the only place you're injured? I don't know. I heard all over. Did you lose consciousness when he punched you? I don't know. How much have you had to drink today? I had just started drinking and he got pissed off and that's when he started hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a seat. I need something to drink. Alright, I'll get you something to drink. Have a seat. <laughs> it's right there. This isn't even my phone. That's his phone. I don't know where he fing threw my phone. Your phone's over your phone's right here. <laughs> Let me see, can we get that phone? No, it's mine. I you just said his for it. That's his phone. No, I paid Just leave it to No, I paid for it. I'm not giving him a phone that I paid for. But you just told me it's his phone. He was using it while he was with me. He, if he's not going to be with me, he don't need it. I still am paying on that phone. Okay, but that's your phone though, right? Correct? This one? Right. Why do you have his phone then? Because I pay for everything here. I pay for everything here. He's not even a man to be even paying for shit here. Aurora immediately began to act like the victim when she spotted the cops, but strangely, she took a very different demeanor when she was asked to talk about what happened. How did all this start, Aurora? Ask him. He told me, I don't want to get your side done. Well, then go with it. Your demeanor changed really, really quick after yeah, getting that water. I'm trying to help everybody out and figure out what's going on, okay? Because apparently this is not new to both of you. No, it isn't. Right? But he's the one that keeps on coming back. I don't f***ing go to him. He f***ing comes here. Well, why do you let him back? Because I think he's going to change and he does it. Then he turns into even worse. And look what he does to me. His cousin's coming right now and she'll f***ing tell you what he says to me and everything, everything he fucking does to me. He tries to play the fucking innocent one here. He's not. He came out here. I was sitting here. Okay. And I was drinking and he fucking got pissed off and he fucking started talking to me and then started hitting me. What did he get pissed off about? Because I was drinking. Nothing else? There's no other reason besides the drinking? Did he want to have, did he want to have intercourse tonight with you? Have you been drinking? No. She didn't want to have sex. I didn't want to have sex because she said she was on a period. And after that. Are you guys married? She wanted to have sex. She's on a period. So do you, yeah. do you know she's on her period? Like, have you seen her well, yeah, use she, a tampon, use pads? She, she was, yeah. She, she was using pads and she told me that she was bleeding more than usual because. Um, Heavy flow or whatever. Yeah. Okay. And she just started calling me to you saying that just some. I'm worthless and she could get it anywhere else and blah 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 and Aurora I need you to step out of the I'm not stepping outside listen to me hold on I'm not stepping outside listen to me we are most likely getting a search warrant for the residence you go right ahead okay so I need you to get out I'm not gonna get out not until you okay. have a warrant out for my arrest or whatever the fuck you need but I am not leaving my premises right here Okay. I'm Aurora, not leaving it. Aurora, you need to listen to me. If you do not leave, what you are doing is you're obstructing me. I don't give a Investigation. I don't fucking give a shit. And I that don't is the give way that you're in jail. I don't I, give I a I told shit. you two minutes ago, it's in your best interest to cooperate with us. We're just in an investigation stage, okay? That's it. We're just investigating this incident. You see what he done to me. I also saw what you did to him. Exactly. Why? Because he... For it. Aurora quickly switched to entitled spoiled brat mode when the officers asked her to cooperate with the investigation. That's where things got a little weird. Pull me out of here. I will get a fucking lawyer okay. and sue your. Okay. And I'll get my parents over here. 
Call your lawyer because right now and talk about ridiculous. what's going on. Call your lawyer right now this and tell what's going ridiculous on. ridiculous with you guys. Because we, I, I want you to know right now, we are giving you optimal opportunity. I don't give a shit what you're trying comply. to do. Let me get As, my parent over here. Aren't you an adult? For they can witness. Mom! Yeah. Mom. Yeah. Can you come to the trailer, please? Come to the RV. I don't want these to arrest me. Hey, let me talk. They're trying to tell me that I have to leave the scene because it's a, a crime scene and so and so. Let me talk to her. If we were going to arrest you, we would arrest you right now if we had enough. Why would I want to put you in handcuffs? Because that's how it is. As weird as it was for a 52-year-old to still put her responsibilities on her parents, the deputies decided to continue their investigations with Aurora in the room. But it didn't take long before she did something stupid. How did the van have a breaking, broken window now? Because I was sitting in the van, and he went over there and tried to get me out. You're and asleep. I ended up going out the passenger seat when he, I heard the, like, crashing sound of the window. So you were in the driver's seat, and then you heard the crashing sound? No. And you jumped over to the... No, because he was banging on the f***ing window, and I f***ing went to the passenger seat, and I got out, and that's when he, the window just, like, crushed, and I came back inside. Do you want some shoes? Uh -uh. No? Okay. Can you step up? No. You want to go talk to your mom with us? No. You want to step outside and talk to her? No. She can come inside. Okay. Well, Aurora, I'm telling you right now, you're, you're going to be under arrest. Okay? For what? For... No, he's the one that hit me. Mm, he did hit you. You're, you're right. He did hit you. But I, I need you to get up because you're going to be under I'm arrest. I'm not going to get up. Okay. He can loosen my teeth and made me a black eye and you're gonna fucking arrest me you know i i would believe that but the thing yeah. is ah, ah you're is hurting you're, me sit up. you sit are hurting sit me sit no Aurora. i'm not you're hurting me can you move your feet do you not see up? my fucking, my finger is bruised from where uh, he hit me last time Aurora. okay come on Aurora. i'm not getting up i need to go to the bathroom first stop it mom Mom! 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 Aurora, if you get up, you can go to the bathroom. Yeah. Come on. Mom! Look at it! Look at them! What are they doing? They want to arrest me! She's getting out of the Get out of the car! Get out! No! Get out of the house! Please! Uh -uh. Listen to me. Hey! Let me go! You fing ass! I need a I need to pee! I need to pee! I need to go to the bathroom! You Aurora continued to resist the deputies, and this only made matters go from bad to worse. Loosen it! You don't need that. Loosen it! It will help take her. She hasn't been listening to us. She's been like this the entire time. As you can see, there's a lot of space in the handcuffs. She's just turning her wrist. No, I'm not. Either you can turn it. Or it's gonna f you know, break. Those are loose. I'm no, it isn't. I'm the that asshole. Aurora, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna kiss. I'm caso. I'm gonna ask caso. No, they there. want me to One, go two, outside three. since there later. Go. And, you, and you can go outside like that. I'm not going f***ing outside. They're f***ing stupid. You have any clothes? Hey, hey. She hey. doesn't want to, so. Well, they came over here because you were in trouble. No. Well, no, because that f***ing pussy called it. That's why. I need well, a pee. Well, let me go to the bathroom. Aurora, are you Aurora. Gonna, hey, calm down. Aurora, calm are you going to let me down. piss on myself? We're, We're going to let you go pee if you would calm down. Aurora, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Aurora, Even with your mom here, you're acting like this. No, we're not doing this. Yes, Do you not see me? Hey, don't yell blood? at your mother. Do you mom, not see me? All right, mom. Mom, come on. Let's go. Just let her go out. Let's go outside. No, Let's they both go outside. You're disrespecting okay. your mom in front of us. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, I need to go to the bathroom. I'm on my f***ing period, you stupid ass. Shh. Ya, Aurora. Let me go to the bathroom. Portate bien. No, es que que se porten ellos bien también. Que están ahí chingando. Well, they have to do their work. They have to do their work. No, no, no. Is she going to get a med clearance? Probably. 
Okay. So, so, know, I, I can go ahead and release them, right? Because uh, <laughs> I released them. Cállate la boca. Here, we'll just run to the hospital real quick. Now we can go. I need to go to the I'm bathroom not you go right there. Lock the door. I need to go to the bathroom. Ma'am, please get out of the I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. No, I need to go to the bathroom. This crazy lady went completely nuts and refused to listen to anybody, including her mum. But the deputies decided that they'd had enough. I'm going to kiss myself. And it's going to be all bloody. That's f***ing disgusting. Okay, so let me go to the bathroom. I'm not going walking out there. I'm not walking out there. still resisting. I don't care. Let me go to the bathroom. It doesn't... No question nada. Let's go. Uh, Aurora, you're acting like a Let me Come go on. to the bathroom. Oh, that you Take her out. I Take her out. Get her out of here. Go. Get her I out of here. I need to pee. Watch your step. Get her out of here. That's what I was trying to do. Getting my Are you kidding me? Stand up. Drag you a goddamn infant. Just drag her. Are you gonna sit up so we can put you in a car like an adult? You. Alright, roll on your side. You. Roll on your side. You. Relax, okay? Can you sit up on your butt? No. You. Alright, you know what? You. Get in there on your own. No. Stand up. I'm not going to. I need a f***ing pit. I already told you. I'm sure you'll pick all my car. I sure do. Yeah. Back up. Oh. Back up, I got it. Oh, my God. God. Why are you going to make it so hard, man? I'm going to pull oh. you back, all right? Oh. Have a the tussle might have been over, but Aurora was not done proving just how aggressive and defiant she could be. What do you expect? Huh? Nothing less. Nothing less. Can you pull my shirt down? Yeah, absolutely. Better. Show me my Just walk this way, please. In the end, she was charged with battery, criminal damage to property, interference with with the and resisting arrest. Following is the case of an entitled Karen who went on to boast about her ability to say unkind words about others. Any weapons on you? Yeah, my mouth. On February the 16th, 2023, police officers responded to a disturbance at a supermarket in Indiana River County, where an 80-year-old Virginia Ann Wago Pitzner had kicked a disabled man. Upon arrival, the officer went on to interact with the lady, but unbeknownst to him, she would go on to display the most entitled behavior ever. Oh, there it is. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? So, really did call you, huh? Yes. Good. Last dog jumped on Afterwards, I kicked them in the ass. You kicked Okay? You kicked So who? what, uh, what would you like to discuss? What's the story? What's the story? I yeah, asked the man know. why he had the dog in here. It's a service dog. Where's his jockey? Where's his proof? I don't have to show you. The law says I don't have to. I said, well, we'll go up to the desk then. I don't have to show them either. I said, because he's not a f***ing service dog. <laughs> and then the dog jumped on me. So I turned around and I kicked him in the air. You have your ID on you? He then presented this thing. I don't do this. I don't sell this to people. But here's this thing. I said, shove it up your ass. Okay. He doesn't have to, number one, you don't work here. Uh, it's not no, your right to be asking around. Uh, it's not my right? No, it's not. Oh, well, here. I same don't thing. Need, I don't need your debit card. I need oh. your ID. Why not? You're going to give me a ticket. As a matter of fact, you are going to jail. Oh, that's even better. Yep. So, turn around, put your hands on your back. Give me a ticket. Turn around, put your hands what? behind your back. Oh, wait, wait. Can I put my wallet away? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. 
Unbelievable. Yeah, you How old are you? I'm 80. You're 80. Acting yeah. like a 14 year old. Facing the inevitable, Virginia's mouth kept betraying her even more. Any weapons on you? Yeah, my mouth. I can Are see you, that. You're just leaving that in the middle of the street? This is the biggest joke I've ever oh, seen. For one to ten. What? You want me to put this in your car? What do you want me to do with this? <laughs> if I tell you, you'll give me another second. No, I want to take it with me. Why would I not want my license, my credit cards, and all my money put back in my pocketbook and take it with me. Okay, well, I gotta search it before I take it, okay? I'll go right ahead. My pen might do something to you. Watch out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Walk over to my car. Oh, my. No, it's not your car. It's my car. I pay taxes. I pay taxes as well. Probably okay. pay more taxes than you. I doubt it. Well, they're gonna love you at the police station. Why do I not have a right to question a person when the law says you can't have animals in supermarkets and stores? Tell me. Service animals are accepted and you're not allowed I to I asked ask. him if there was you're a service. You're not allowed to ask. Why? Because you're not allowed to. It's protected. There's people with disabilities. You didn't know that? Because it's in, in his head. That's where his disability is. Okay. Still doesn't have the right to uh, well, I, I, make you kick someone. The dog didn't have the right to jump on me, did he? Service animals don't jump on me. You instigated the whole thing. Go jump on me before I kick them in the head. Where's your dog? I expected you to show up with the dog. What? I'm disappointed. You know, this hurts. Not supposed to be comfortable. Well, it's not supposed to hurt either that I got marks. Maintaining professionalism, the officers conducted the necessary procedures for obtaining witness statements. But what was more shocking was that Virginia was not ready to acknowledge any wrongdoing and had now switched to throwing accusations towards the police. Him and his dog? Him. Well, that's not nice. I'm not a nice person. Tell you what, everything they say about police brutality is pretty true. Is it? I really don't think that these handcuffs have to be this tight and uncomfortable. Sure? Yeah, I'll do it. Does this mean I can't come to the supermarket anymore? Absolutely. Yes, it does. Oh, that also means that if you come back here, you'll go to jail again. Thank you. Sure. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, right. I got it. Right. Thank you. Well, you created a scene inside, so. Okay. Yep, you can go to Walmart next. Yeah. Actually, no, you ruined my day because we've been so busy and now I got to deal with you. Yep. Well, now you, if people get into an accident, now they have nobody because I'm here. I guess my yelling and screaming in the supermarket makes precedence over people like you. It's supposed to be out looking for you. Well, you kicked someone, man. Kick people. By this time, she started to play the victim, yet she wasn't ready to accept responsibility for her actions. You don't think this is a little ridiculous? What is? All well, this because I dumped some guy in the store and kicked him in the air. That's a crime. How can you break something? And you do the crime, you do the time. You you can't be going around kicking people, number one. You have no right. Oh, 
either. What's happening to that dog? You confront him about the dog. He was minding his business. You have, you're nobody to I be confronting people. Dog. You confront him. Yeah. You, you, you're not supposed to be asking questions. Nobody know what happened to freedom of speech that you can't ask. Well, that's not absolute. It's not absolute. Okay, there's certain limitations. So if I ask you a question, that's wrong. I have no right to ask you. You can't ask a disabled person with a registered service dog. The man is walking in an aisle with a dog. He has nothing on him that says he's disabled. He doesn't have to. He's federally protected. Well, how am I supposed to know? Well, who, who, who are you? Who are you to be asking those questions? You don't work there. That's not your business. Should have just went... It's, you don't work there, that's none of your business. You should have went about your day. Let the man do his thing, and if, if the store has a problem, they would have called us, not you. You can't just go up to people, confront them about having a dog in a store that you don't own. No, you cannot. He and he, he explained to you that it was a service dog, and then you still continue your argument. He doesn't need to have a jacket. I just came from physical therapy, and that dog's got a jacket, got a service dog, got a jacket, picture on it. Doesn't have to. Even after the officer explained to her that she was in the wrong, she did not see sense in what he was saying. Instead, she went on to justify herself while displaying a crazily entitled mentality. Listen, we're not, we're not the victim here, okay? We're not the complainant. Obviously, we were called there. Okay. You will see a judge in the morning. Is that guy got to show up? I really want 100%. to see him. 100%. What if I don't want to run? If you get a warrant, we'll pick you up in your house. I'm planning at 1665 Victoria Circle, 2665 Victoria Circle. Hong Kong, actually. If you can, if you what? You're native connected. I mean, if you plead guilty, then you don't have to show up. You just got it. 26. What, whatever the state attorney decides your sentence will be, then then you just got to make sure you uh, follow the, the rules. Ranger 1. 58 and 1st Street Southwest. Yeah, obviously you feel like they don't apply to you. It is. It is. You should have never kicked somebody. Well, dog had the right to be there. You confronted his dog. If I didn't confront the dog. You confronted him and the dog was attached to him. Did that means you violated his space. If you get if you get that close to him where the dog, dog jumped on you, that means you were on his space. Nah, the leash was pretty uh, Tight. In the end, Virginia was taken to jail and charged with battery on a person over 65 and disorderly conduct. If you thought Aurora and the entitled Karen were crazy, then you have not met this crazy grandma who her husband of 24 years. Oh, I should have stabbed him a bit more. All right, I want to go in. All right. No, so, he's on the kitchen yeah. floor. On the 13th of February 2021, British police received a disturbing call from an elderly lady claiming to have done something truly unforgivable. You with him now? Well, I might just go and stab him again. Yeah. All right, do not stab him again. Why? All right, madam, I don't how many times have you stabbed him? Uh, three times. Three times, okay. Uh, once I thought I'd get his heart, well, he hasn't got one, and then 
twice in the afternoon. Officers immediately rushed to the scene. Once they arrived, they were quick to realize how downright insane the elderly woman, identified as Penelope Jackson, really was. Under arrest suspicion of Under arrest yes, suspicion yes. of seven. And you do not have to say anything. Really it it may harm your defence. You do not mention when questioned anything you're later relying on court. And if you do say, you may be given an evidence. Um, I'll go in and see what they do. Yeah. Could I get them a coat? Just bear with me two seconds. In right. there. Penelope is scarily calm, considering she's just ended someone's life. The situation would only get worse from here on out. I admit it all. All right. Just get them. All right, I want to go in. All right. No, so, he's on the kitchen yeah. floor. Can someone just stay with Devon while I go in? There's nothing nasty, and I'm certainly not. Not. <laughs> My coat's in the. Yeah, Ow, just wait two seconds. Hot. All right, you okay? It shows a lot about Penelope's character when she's more concerned about her jacket than her husband of 24 years. However, it was what she revealed right after that made everything 10 times worse. All right. If there's any luck, right. they'll be too late. We'll get, you right, get the ambulance in, pronto. We need oh, CPR. Oh, don't. No, no, no. Please don't. Yeah, we need oh, the ambulance should have stabbed him a bit more. We've got CPR being done at the moment. Right. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Come with me, mate. Do you want my keys? He's an aggressive bully, a nasty, and I've had enough. And when he said, you won't do it, I did it twice more. Okay. I know what I've done. All right. And I know why I've done it. And if I haven't done it properly, I'm really annoyed. I'm arresting, further arresting you, um, oh, I've already cautioned you, yes. so your necessities for your arrest is for a prompt and effective investigation. Penelope was charged with and later convicted of order, resulting in a sentence of 18 years in prison.